wish I could remember who that was. Old man John cuts a Wow, what the Come stereo sunrise, man! She said something. Something? Some people did something. She said something. And of course, uh. Whisper in my wife, I love you. I was wrong. Hit the sky, so I'm just my going money up to the top of it. He walked away. Sandwich between Will a big boss and a big truck. <laughs> I don't have my wheels. My, I don't have my uh, elite sports car anymore. <laughs> so I can't just wiggle my way out of a tight situation by putting the hammer down. I guess I could. It's just not that kind of car. Um, okay, so I've tried to do this before and maybe the timing was off or whatever. I want to sell a house and give my commission to one specific charity. Well, it would be Wellspring Niagara. But I want to sell a big shack, a big fat shack, you know, like a, like a well-priced one. To someone that isn't loyal to an agent that wants to make my commission that they pay me for the listing end of it a donation in their name so here's the deal I charge them a regular commission then I kick that commission back to them with a check from my office so when the closing comes in they pay the commission to close it I don't need to get into all the details but this is a legit way of doing it commission comes into the office and then goes right back out as a check to the seller then I take that check from my brokerage for my whole commission whatever it is I take that check that's made out to the seller and the seller makes a certified donation to uh, Wellspring for the same amount and I give him the check it's a wash my commission turns into a donation in the name of the seller. So not only do they get to make a donation with my commission, but they get to claim it as a uh, charitable donation for the year. I don't know if it's probably if there's some, I mean, it was a third or something. No, maybe it's not even that. I don't know. But I think there is a, a tax uh, benefit to filing a charitable donation receipt. So that's the deal. Now, I, I'm, I'm sure people, like I've tried to do this before. I had all the, I did it at Christmas time. It was like blah, blah, blah. I put it everywhere. I advertised it on the radio. Nobody ever took me up on it. Maybe they think it's just a marketing ploy. I don't know. Like, I guess it could be a marketing ploy because you could have a few people call you and go, hey, yeah, I want to sell my house. But, hey, I haven't had a taker yet. I'm willing to, to do it and to make my commission a donation to Wellspring Naga, who doesn't get any money from the government, and which is a cancer support center in Niagara. Uh, not just for victims of cancer, but also their family. They run programs. I don't even know where the new place is now. I should uh, probably make contact with them. Um, I did it for the NHS one time. How was it benefiting the NHS? Oh, I was going to make the donation to the NHS, I think. That was the promo I ran. Went a bit at Christmas time. And what the deal was, you call me. I list your house. The selling broker still got to get paid, like the buyer's agent still needs to get paid, right? So whatever that is, usually <laughs> the most common rate, I think a majority of the listings are still two and a half percent to the to the selling broker, to the buy to the buyer's broker. So you still got to pay that guy. In fact, you got to pay it all. It's just my commission will be treated as a donation in your name. Get it? So, I don't know. It's, uh, 
I guess I could use the business. The listings, anyways. The listings I'm great at. The buyers I, I refer out. I have uh, good buyers agents that are on the ball, that are hungry and check the listings every day. In fact, we'll prospect. If we can't find you a property, I don't even mind prospecting. That into the business, the acquisition and the marketing of listings, that's my thing. I'm good at it. Usually, I offer 4% to the selling broker. And if you're an agent or a seller out there, and you want to learn how to use a higher commission to potentially put more money in your seller's pocket, then call me. Send me an email. Team Niagara, uh, real estate at teamniagara.ca? Yeah, the email is <laughs> real estate at teamniagara.ca. If you're a buyer, or sorry, if you're a seller, and you're selling it, let's say you're selling your house private. Why are you offering 2% to the selling broker when most of the other listings, well, there's a lot of 2% selling brokers out there. Offer them more, man. If you get your full pop, you gotta pay more. And I'm talking a lot more. Like you said, imagine, hey, you privates out there. You've got 2% built into your price to pay an agent. Do you have four? I bet you you do. If you got full price, would you pay a buyer's agent four points? If the answer to that is yes, and I, I mean only full price, take your full price, take 4% off it, and look at your net. Would you take that as a net? Pay the buyer's broker the difference as a commission as a commission on the selling price. The more the buyer's agent gets for you, the more he actually gets. And if you offer a higher than normal, higher than average, a higher than the most common, I don't know how to say this without contravening the without sound, sounding anti-competitive. I'm not even worried about that. So, a couple things, I guess, real estate-wise. I got this thing in my car I just found. Well, I didn't. I just found this thing, I put it back in my car. You wash it with soap, it sticks to the dash, and the, the camera sticks to the... So, when I'm running around, I can do shitty-ass little videos like this. And, uh... I can't, like, I mean, I'm not playing with the fun, this, like, this is legit, dude. <laughs> you want to avoid Lakeshore Road between Ontario and Lake. Just saying. It's not a good scene. And, uh, we don't need your extra traffic around. You know when you take a big jug, a big glug, a big slug of water, and you think, oh, that tastes like shit. You have those mo you have those times, right? Well, what are you drinking, first of all? If you're not drinking Ricochet, and you live in Niagara, or St. Catharines specifically, because you can't buy the, can't buy this water anywhere but from them. They will deliver it. It's not cheap. It's like seven bucks a jug. I think my dad's paying three bucks. You know, for a 20 liter jug, 19 liter jug or whatever. These little brats. I love the kids, man. Sidetracked. Anyway, don't come down Lakeshore Road. Drink Ricochet water. Send me an email to Team Niagara. What, I can't even say my email. Real estate at teamniagara.ca. You know one that's selling a house? Hey, you know somebody that's been on the market for a long time? They think about dropping their price? How about, yeah, you drop your price a little bit, but increase, fix. ever think about increasing your selling broker, commission, your buyer broker's commission? No, I don't think you did. I don't even think you did. Okay, I'm almost my way through this wicked construction on Lakeshore Road. Don't come down here. Go to Bugsy's another time. Go to Rombie's instead. Stay out of this neck of the woods. It's, it's lethal. It will kill you. What do we got playing now?
words. Uh, you know how many times I've freaking heard this song? I mean, I know some. I know a lot of them. Great tune. Beautiful. Peace out, y'all.